I was always proud that I was born in Ukraine, but it was never like the pride that I feel now. My childhood was in Ukraine. Um, it was great. As a kid, you got to experience Ukrainian food, Ukrainian culture. I speak to my friends in the Ukraine and those who were able to get out. Um, I get to hear of everything that's happening and everything that's been lost. Karina's helping her home country by launching an exhibit at the Immersive Van Gogh exhibit in Hollywood. Immersive Shevchenko, Soul of Ukraine, honoring Ukrainian artist Taras Shevchenko. 100% of proceeds from ticket sales at the Lighthouse Immersive website go directly to Red Cross and National Bank of Ukraine Fund. Even if Ukraine is going to get even more destroyed, the soul of Ukraine will never get destroyed. And while Karina tells us she's been depressed and angry over the war, she does have joy in her life, being a mom to her son Theo, who's turning two in a few weeks. I just hope that when he grows up and understand everything more and more, that we finally get to the place in the world where people can just enjoy life. I have no words. Sometimes I have no words to describe my feeling. L Ukraine's editor-in-chief Sonia Zabuga and her family have managed to stay safe in Kyiv, but her life now is very different than it was just three weeks ago. Sonia used to live a jet-setting lifestyle, devoting herself to her love of high fashion, but the war has changed all of that. L Ukraine is now entirely devoted to covering the war. Sonia is also covering local designers who've had to change course to help their fellow citizens who've had to flee the country. The Ukrainian designers that help uh, focusing on producing warm clothes for the refugees and Ukrainian armies. It's hard to, to, I mean, to stay calm in these days, so we, but we are trying to focus on the job.